Well, Headhunters is about um, Roger Brown, uh, who um, on the surface has the perfect life, lives in a ridiculously expensive house, has a beautiful wife, and, and um, he's a headhunter. Like a, like the problem for him is that he uh, can't afford his lifestyle. So he's also uh, has a little um, side business being an art thief. Well, my character class, um, he is is like Roger Brown, the main character. He's he's not he's also uh, a man full of secrets. Um, but when we meet him, um, he is a uh, he's retired. He had a company. He sold. He made a fortune, and now he's just um, being a bit of a playboy, really. Well, I think that when I read the script of Headhunters, there's a scene where it was so absurd and extreme. It ha happens like half an hour into the movie, and and um, it involves uh, and and what do you call it? Outdoor toilet, like you know the old-fashioned and swimming, and I guess I would give it away too much, but it, it, it was so funny and horrific at the same time, I thought, this is fantastic. And then Jon Esper, the writer, of, this is based on his book, Headhunters, he's just, uh, he's a master of, of, of plot, and twists, and turns, and surprises, so it's, it's, it was a thrilling script. Well, I think, yeah, I think the, I, I really enjoyed reading the book, Headhunters, and I think um, Morden, uh, the director, he, he, he's, he's been very, um, he's been able to, to be very faithful to the book and still uh, make those hard choices that you have to do when you, when you uh, translate from one medium to the other.